combusting and reacting flows. We know there's been a few important topics here recently. Um, that's continued. Now, I think this is a really significant development. Um, so when you want to include turbulence in combustion, you can either um, do it via approaches like flamelets, or you can do it with something called the eddy dissipation concept, where you think of um, turbulent eddies as little reactors, and that's where you mix and you get your, your combustion going on. There's lots and lots of cases where that basic model performs really poorly in terms of its predictions. And, and they're particularly when you've got mild combustion. So this is this flameless combustion where you're, you've got dilute gases that are combusting at lower temperatures or at supersonic combustion. Um, and we've certainly got users here who found that's not very good. There was a lot of research done out, um, out in universities that came up with this new, what's called a partially stirred reactor. So this is nothing about your geometry. This is the approach that's used within these turbulent eddies to be able to get um, the turbulent interaction with the chemistry done well. And you can see there's some big changes here. So this is mass fraction of oxygen set to different values coming in here, and we're getting different temperatures. And the green and the dots is the new model. The red is the old. So we're definitely getting a lot of improvement. And it, it just performs better anyway in terms of a model. Um, so we can now have non adiabatic strained um, uh, flame generated manifold. So what that means is that we can do things where there's significant stretching and straining of the fl oh, flame. So I thought that was a movie. Um, and we see quite different behavior. And it's really important if you want to predict blow off to be able to capture these effects. Um, so that, that's a really important addition to the modeling tools. More work has gone on on hydrogen combustion, particularly looking at flashback. So you can see burning back down there and then suddenly we're burning right back at the entrance. So we've had flashback. Um, important to be able to predict that. And there's lots of work going on in hydrogen. There's also um, looking at more validation. So this is a swirl stabilized flame. And uh, this is some of the prediction. So they're generally pretty good. Um, continuing to work on that. There's an improved uh, NOx kinetics. So um, within the model fuel library that ANSYS maintains, or which is part of the like the chemistry suite of tools we have now, um, there's been a revamped model for NOx, and so. Um, that allows you to get better predictions. So you can see that this is the detailed model here in, in this red. The yellow is much closer than the gray. The gray was drifting off at higher um, temperatures. And that's now a uh, much better NOx model. I've got one slide on Chemkin. Um, those of you who um, have um, uh, CFD um, enterprise licenses get yeah, Kemkin as part of the deal now straight away. Kemkin's always been the like the gold standard for doing gas phase reactions and gas phase and surface reactions. So you can have catalytic reactions going on surfaces, sites, etc. Active. It's never in the past been been um, able to involve liquids and in multi phase. That was an initial release of it in the last round where there was some limited capabilities that those have been improved here now. So there's more formulations for dealing with vapor liquid equilibrium, uh, more uh, reactor types and that is being supported. So this is being developed really significantly at the moment because it, it really gives you a way to do uh, complex chemistry 
in multi-phase systems, but for simple reactors, so do it very quickly, because we know that if you go out and do the full CFD of these, it's going to be computation expensive with multi-phase involved. So um, you really don't want to be improving your mechanism and that in a CFD simulation or doing any reduction if you can. You really want to be getting your mechanisms and everything sorted in this Kempkin models. And when you're happy with it, then doing your CFD. So this is, this is the way um, this is developing. So watch the space. There'll be more each release now.